Hello and welcome to number four video in my protein structure imaging sequence. This week we're going to show you how to make a image of hemoglobin where all the different subunits are different colors. So I'm going to pull up PDBID 1C7D. Here, let's wait for it to load. All right. I, you know, I have a tendency to kind of maximize the screen, but you think about your screen shape in terms of how the picture, you can see when it's square here, you're going to make more of a square and then you don't have to do cropping later. So, so, so kind of drag the window, fill it up. Again, I'm using kind of the scroll bar. All right. One of the first things I like to do is preset. Uh, I think I'll go publication number three this week here. And you can see the hemoglobin and the side chains binding the hemoglobin are showed. So I'm going to hide those for now. All right, so now the goal is to color the different subunits of this structure different colors. And if you remember protein quaternary structure, proteins are made up of multiple polypeptide chains, and each chain can be selected differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select chain A, action, color, red, and now I've colored this chain. This is kind of a special PDB because two of the subunits of this hemoglobin molecule are covalently linked together. Next, I'm going to do select chain B, action, color, green, select chain D, actions, color, blue. And you can see this blue has kind of like a green halo. So before you make your image, I'd recommend uh, clearing your selection and that gets rid of that halo so everything looks kind of nice. Second, uh, I think I want to kind of show the hemoglobin molecule. So I'm going to go select structure ligand. Now my hemoglobin is now selected, but the atoms are hidden because we hid them earlier. So now I'm going to go back and say show. So now my hemoglobin is present. And I'm going to change it to uh, ball and stick representation. So now you can see balls where the atoms are and sticks showing the bonds. And then I'm going to color it genta. So now our hemoglobin molecules. Again, they have that green halo. So I'm going to go back to select and say clear selection. All right. Uh, next thing you can do for advanced students is that one of my favorite things to do is go under favorites and say side view here. And then I go under effects. I really like to add the silhouettes, but it can be difficult to work with. Remember, see silhouettes adds that kind of black line outline around the protein, which is nice. You can add shadows too, but I find they just they don't really work well for me. Another thing I like to do is to go into the lighting tab, and then where it says intensity, click on that, and then click shininess. And then I like to make the sharpness and the shininess way down, and the reflectivity to zero. And then I can close this window, and you can see it's kind of like a nice dull effect, which I appreciate. Uh, at this point, we can just say save image. It's going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to type hemoglobin and save the image, spinning pinwheel, and we are done. So now I can quit the program. If you're on a Mac, it's really easy to open up images. I'm not sure how it quite works on Windows. And you can you know, easily just kind of select the area of the protein uh, and then go tools, crop, which really kind of zooms in on the protein quite nicely. So anyway, that's how you color the different subunits of a protein structure. I hope this is easy for you when you do your own task.